So three years later, I'm about to have another baby. I'm feeling some twinges, so it could happen any minute now. I've packed my hospital bag finally. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marcy Dalakbo Uni. And today I am gonna be talking about my most requested video <laughs> from like three years ago. So when I had my son, people kept asking I should do a what's in a hospital bag video. And um, I wanted to do it after I'd given birth so that I would kind of know what I was supposed to be doing. And of course I never did it. So three years later, I'm about to have another baby. I'm just coming up to 39 weeks. I'm feeling some twinges, so it could happen any minute now. And I thought, okay, you know what? I've packed my hospital bag finally. So let's talk about what's in my hospital bag. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Please excuse a pregnant lady who is about to pop and this makeup on my face. I know it looks like I'm wearing a mask. <sighs> Anyways, carry on and what you need to pack. So I'm gonna be talking about mine in reference to the fact that I'm having a planned C-section. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's kind of like where I'm gonna be going. So yeah, so my hospital bag is just a standard wheelie travel case. And let's take you through it. Okay, so um, first thing is you wanna make sure you've got your um, notes for your hospital so your maternity notes from all your doctor's appointments which should technically have your birth plan or whatever you've discussed and whatever's been going on in your pregnancy so they have that so make sure you don't forget that and then um i'm going to just go through like the mummy stuff that you will need basically so what i have here is i've got a dressing gown right um because after a while, you know, stuck in bed, you might want to have a little walk around the hospital or the ward, the labor ward. And, um, you know, just to cover you up a bit if you're wearing uh, a hospital gown underneath or a nightie or whatever, or a maternity nightie as well. Um, I've got some slippers just to be comfy. These I just got off of ASOS. Very simple. Um... I'm staying for three to four nights because it is a planned CS. So I've got um, nursing nighties for um, for four nights just in case. Um, and when I say nursing, it's things that are buttoned down so that when you need to breastfeed, it's just easily accessible. So uh, that stuff I kind of got off ASOS. So as you can see, these are actually pajamas or like some big shorts um, that I got. And I've got a whole bunch of stuff, so that's like, I've just got four of those. You also want to remember to pack an outfit for when you leave the hospital, unless you want to leave in your pyjamas, which is fair enough. You can really do whatever the hell you want. You should also find out from your midwife what each hospital is going to provide as well. So, for example, um, the hospital that I'm having my baby in provides things like they provide nappies they provide towels for the baby they provide towels for you they provide um anything to do with changing the baby wipes all that kind of stuff they provide all that stuff but i've got some of that stuff in here just so that you can kind of see what you should pack um then i've got toiletries um in a clear bag so it's just easy to see what i need um the hospital I'm having the baby at, um, I'm taking essential oils because there's like a diffuser so I can put the oils in to relax. Um, I also am going to have a playlist for when I'm having my C-section because they can play it through the speakers because the C-section is going to take um, about an hour and a half actually. So it is major surgery. I've also got this. Now these are maternity pants. Well, they're not technically maternity pants. They'll say you should bring um what do you call this thing uh like sanitary towels yes because obviously once you have the baby you start you basically kind of have what looks like a period but it just goes on for weeks and weeks and weeks so you have this but what i will tell you is that when you have the baby or when you have a cs they don't you don't wear it well with me i didn't wear a sanitary towel they kind of just like put a towel between your legs 
because you're not like wearing any pants and then the and then the like you're like on a waterproof thing so that you don't bleed everywhere and then maybe on the second day you can wear your sanitary towel maternity pants now for me i've got these ones here that i showed you that you can actually they're like they kind of look like adult nappies but they're pants they're basically sanitary pants that you wear i do not like sanitary towels where you put it into your actual knickers because it moves around and you can't wear tampons after you've had a baby so i like to get the fully loaded pants that I can wear so that's what I've got there um, what else do I need okay I'm um, taking a camera to document you know certain aspects of it uh, take I'm taking my phone so make sure you take your phone and your phone charger I'm taking my laptop I take my laptop everywhere I don't know if I'll be using it but I just like to have it handy and I'll be taking my laptop charger and I mentioned playlist and my essential oils for my for the diffuser okay now Onto what the baby's gonna need. So, um, the hospital that I'm giving birth in, I told you, provides nappies and all that kind of stuff. But you should check with your midwife. So let's say that that stuff isn't provided. You're gonna need nappies, a lot of nappies. I would just say, I've just taken them out of the pack. I would say take, um, Take a pack of nappies, basically, a new pack of nappies. These are a size one. Um, when I had my son, I bought newborns, but he was very big, so the newborns didn't fit, so I just bought a size one. It's okay if it's a bit, it's a bit, if it's a bit bigger, but like I said, where I'm going, they already provide the nappies, so they'll have different sizes. Now, um, I've got baby vests. I've got these little baby vests, how cute. So I've got the baby vests and the sleep suits so the baby vest goes under the sleep suits and then i've got the little sleep suit oh, it's just so cute so 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 cute um i've got i think six of each just because if it gets stained or there's poo on it or all that kind of stuff so there's sort of extra surplus um also baby hats i've got four of these because babies tend to be very um get cold quite easily newborns so I've got four hats and then I've got scratch mitts to put on the baby's hands because, you know, they have nails when they come out and they tend to scratch themselves. But also the um, baby grows that I've got, they've actually got the sleeves. You can pull them over the fingers so that they don't scratch as well. But I've got scratch mitts as well. Um, I've got here cotton wool um, in case like there's anything like, you know, crust, crust in the eyes, want to use a bit of water. And move that out of the way pseudo creme to put on the baby's bottom when i've changed the nappy i've also got water wipes for me these are the best things because they are 99.9 percent .9 water and they um i've got two packs in here and they help with the first poos which is which are called meconium Am I saying it right? Because the first poos of the baby is very, very dark and sticky. And these wipes, like, they really can pull anything out. So that's very good to clean up the baby. Um, is there anything else? Oh, yes. I got muslins. So put it on you. Carry the baby if there's a bit of spit up. Um, so I've got, you can never have too many muslins. I've got, like... I don't know eight in here and I've also got the big ones because I use the big ones to swaddle the baby um, swaddling the baby is like a technique where you put the baby in the middle and you kind of like wrap them in some cloth there are swaddling blankets but I just use a muslin because I know how to do it and um, it kind of helps the baby feel like they're still in the womb so it gives them comfort so I've got that as well and that helps to aid the baby to sleep um god i feel like i'm panting <laughs> uh what else oh yes um something i forgot which i haven't put in here but i'll pack it is nursing bras uh, which are really handy so it's like you wear a regular bra it, they look like regular bras but they've got a latch you take the latch off and then your boot pops out and you can um feed the baby i'm not packing nursing pads but you can especially if it's your first child and you don't know what your milk is going to be like um it doesn't your milk doesn't come straight away but um you know you have this thing that comes out that is enough for the baby it's like it has loads of nutrients i can't remember the name i'll put it up on the screen <laughs> sorry my memory is so bad um um colostrum ah yeah i got it 
I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm so happy I remember that. Um, yeah, so I'm not taking any nursing pads because I think my hospital provides it, but also I don't think I'm gonna need it with my son. My I didn't produce milk like that. I had a friend that she would literally take the nursing pad out and then her boot like milk would squirt across the room. I don't have that. Uh so my and also in like the first three days my milk is not gonna come out like that anyway. So I have not packed any nursing pads, but you can pack nursing pads, especially if it's your first and you're not sure. There's no harm in that. Um snacks for you, snacks for your husband. Uh, if especially like or energy bars if you want that if you're having a natural birth um, books or magazines you know just to read through when baby's asleep and you want to do something else I mean I've got my laptop so I'll probably be online looking at things and all that kind of stuff but that's about it yeah it's not that complicated just a bag full of stuff for you and the baby and just to make sure that you're comfortable and all that stuff so yeah I'm almost due and this baby is going to be out in a few days so I'm very excited um, yeah by the grace of God I'm very very excited and that's it I finally done my what's in my hospital bag yay woo come on all right guys I will see you another time for another video bye